Hello guys, welcome to the Math Cat tutorial. Okay, so this is the first video in the in the playlist. Okay, so let's begin. So in this video, we'll uh, like just learn a few basic things about Math Cat and you know writing some commands in Math Cat, uh, like assigning the values and uh, evaluating some stuff. Okay, and writing some text in the in Math Cat. Okay. So let's begin. So let's begin by writing the text. Okay, first of all, this is the this is the worksheet. Okay, that we have in MathCAD. This is called a worksheet, and this this red thing is actually a cursor. Okay, so wherever you you take it wherever you wanna like like type the commands. Okay, and just type it. Okay, now let's say I take the cursor over here and. I'm gonna type some kind of command, okay? So if I just like start typing, okay, you can see the blue line uh, underneath the words, underneath, underneath the text, right? So that blue line indicates that the, the words that you're typing in are not just simple text, but are some kind of variables to be assigned, okay? So if let's say you just wanna type in some text that is not any command or something that's just a text like you know some kind of sentence or anything right so at that time you just don't simply start typing what you do is you press shift and you press a double quotation marks okay and see a certain kind of uh, rectangle appears on the screen okay and there is the red cursor okay that uh, that is usually associated with the text typing you see the the vertical cursor Okay, and that is when you start typing. Let's say, let's learn MathCat. Okay, so as you can see, there is no blue line underneath this text. So that means this is not a code or not a command. This is just a pure text. That's it, right? So this has nothing to do, this, this won't be saved as a variable or anything. Okay, this is just simple text. Now, once you're done, you can just uh, use the arrow key to move the cursor down, as you can see. You can use the arrow keys to control the cursor. Like, if you wanna go to right, just press right arrow key. Go left, you can go up, you can go down, okay? Now, let's learn MathCAD, okay? So, first, let's talk about uh, the variation. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the variables, okay? So, the variables assignment. Again, uh, this is not a text. I mean, this is not a code or command. This is just a text because as you can see, there is no blue line appearing. So how I started it again, I press shift and the double quotation mark and this, this, uh, rectangle appeared. And then I start, I started typing, not just started typing randomly. See if I just start typing without shift and double quotation, that's, that's an, a variable assignment. You see? And that's not the pure text. Okay. Now variable assignment. So let's say uh, I have a variable that is x. Okay. So now in this case, this is gonna be a variable. This is gonna be a command, right? So in this case, this is not gonna be a pure text. So I won't press uh, shift and double quotation. I will just simply start typing, right? So I'll just type x and then I have to set assign it to a certain value, right? Now, there are three main uh, equal signs over here in MathCAD, okay? We'll talk about the first one over here when, when the variable assignment comes. We'll talk about the uh, other two later, okay? Later in this video, okay? So let's just talk about the first, vari first uh, equal sign, that is the assignment equal sign. Okay. And the assignment equal sign is not just simply equal sign that, 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 is, that appears on your keyboard. What you do is you press uh, the colon sign. Okay. So you press shift and colon and this sign appears. This is not just equal, right? This is colon and equal. But when you're pressing, uh, like when you want this to appear on your screen, you just press shift and colon. So x now this is this assigns x with a certain value. This doesn't evaluate x. 
it assigns x with a certain value. So let's say x is equal to 6. Okay. Now I go to the right using right arrow key. And then let's say let's assign y. Again, I started typing directly. I didn't press shift and double quotation. Okay. This is going to be a command. This is not going to be a text. So just y is equal to again assignment. So shift and double quote, uh, double uh, colon. Okay. Shift and colon. Y is going to be equal to let's say 10. Okay. Now let's say I want to find what x plus y is. So what is x plus y? Let's type in x. Now this is plus sign, usual plus sign, x plus y. Now I want to evaluate this. Okay. So here comes in the second equal sign. Okay. So this equal sign is the usual equal sign that we are associated, uh, that we are used to. Okay. So that's just equal. Just press equal. And as you can see, it's x plus y gives you 16. So that evaluated the term x plus y, and the result is 16. Now I can I can also do it like this. Okay, uh, let's define a variable z or z, and that is going to be equal to. Again, now this time is a defining. So as you can see, these two equal signs are different. Okay, just keep that in mind. Now let's define z as x plus y. Okay. Now we can try evaluating z and z equals 16. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, built in variables. Built in variables. Okay. So or predefined variables, whatever we call, we like to call. So predefined variables are uh, for instance, there's there are many predefined variables. The common one that we use in physics and engineering is g acceleration due to gravity. So that's already pre predefined in this. So we just press g and press equal to sign. As you can see, it's 9.807 meters per second square. And if you want to take, as you can see, this this tab actually. Uh, covers the, 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 the text above. So what you can do is you can just select this tab like this. You can just move it downwards. Okay. Now, so G is defined. Uh, now we can just simply try addition, subtraction. Okay. So let's try addition and subtraction. So let's say we have already defined x and y, right? So let's try x and x plus y. We already did. That's going to be equal to 16. Okay. And also one more thing. Here you can see uh, there is some some kind of new mark over here. And if I press the space bar button, okay, this moves. See. So this I, what this actually does is this is uh, this usually works when Okay, let's let's let me let me just give you an example so that I can just elaborate this thing. Let's say uh, I have x plus y. Okay, now the, uh, there's going there should be a bracket x plus y times z. So this is not gonna be y times z. This is gonna be x plus y. The whole thing times z. Okay, that's the command. So so if I just uh, do multiplication. Okay, now this is y times z, right? What I did was for multiplication I use shift and star button. Okay. So it gives me multiplication. Okay. Now instead I want to, what I want to do is I want X plus Y, the whole thing times Z. So what I can do is I can just press the space bar button. Okay. Now is the whole thing selected as you can see, see earlier it was just Y. Now if I press it again, it's just the whole thing selected. And now if I just uh, use my, my multiplication that is shift and star and press Z, as you can see, it's x plus y whole times z. I didn't use uh, brackets by um, by all my on my own. Okay, it just happened automatically. You see, I didn't press the bracket. I I could have done that, but you know there's no necessity. So if I just type x plus y and I just select the whole thing, and I can just divide it. You see, see. Now if instead if I had not done it, let's say x plus y. 
And if I just, instead of pressing uh, uh, the space bar and selecting the whole thing, if I just directly uh, press the division button, division is just uh, the, the usual division mark on, the, on your keyboard, the usual uh, division button on your keyboard. So just press that and you, you can see that it's Y divided by Z. Okay, not the whole thing. Okay, so this function is important. Okay, what, what you are exactly selecting, which vari variables are selecting. This usually comes in handy when uh, you are you have a lot of variables, you see. Now, uh, addition, subtraction, then this is uh, multiplication, division. Okay, so let me just, yeah. Yeah, so uh, now we can uh, use, we can learn about unit assignment. Okay, unit assign, how do you, how do we assign unit? This is just a very basic, uh, as this is the first video, we're gonna deal with just the basic stuff, like how do we actually deal with stuff, you know, in, in, in MathCAD. And in, in the next videos, we'll, we'll actually use all this stuff in, you know, doing some codes, you know, actually productive stuff, of like making graphs and all, all that thing. That is actually useful and that is actually used in engineering assignments and so on. So yeah, so let's use unit unit assignment. Uh, so the most common units like me uh, distance for meters, then uh, uh, time is seconds. You know the the SI units. Okay, you have the same kind of uh, denote denote you denote it with the same uh, letters that you usually denote. So meters is m seconds is s and so on okay so this now is really the same so let's say uh, i have x that is going to be equal to declaration or assignment x is going to be equal to six now i want to say six meters okay so it's usually going to be not six m it's going to be six times m okay but math mathcad is very smart if you even if you type just m it gives me six times as, as you can see there is six times and um, there's a small uh, dot over here okay okay so but if I, if I just click it over here it disappears but if I just click it again over here it, the, the dot reappears okay and this this green sign means that I, I've defined this variable already previously so uh, as you can see I've defined it over here x is going to be equal to six now I, I've redefined this thing so that's why this one is coming in so I can just type use x1 and this is gone, right? Now it's x1 is going to be equal to six meters, okay? But again, if I if I, can, I can be very sure that it's not just six m, that is six times m. So unit is always multiplied in MathCAD. So I can just yeah, multiply it manually. Let's say y1 is going to be equal to 10. And I use the multiplication sign that is shift and star so as you can see, there is a dot over here and then I type M. So it's 10 times M. But I could have done the same thing, Y1, because MathCAD is so smart, it just directly recognizes us. This, this is the unit, so it directly puts in the dot. Okay, I didn't use the dot over here. I can just do it again. See, I just pressed 10 and I pressed M now, right? The dot automatically appears, you see? Okay, mm, now uh, x1, okay. Now let's say I want to multiply x1 and y1. So let's say x1 times y1, okay. Now the answer of course should be 10 times six, that's going to be 60, okay. But does it, will it have units? Yes, it will. Because x1 now MathCAD registers x1 not just as six, but as six meters, okay. So th that's two different things for MathCAD. So it's going to have the units is units is very important in MathCAD, very important. Okay, because uh, sometimes you get the wrong answers because the, the the unit you defined was, you know, there was some discrepancy in two or three units, and somewhere uh, discrepancy somewhere. So you got the answer wrong. So the, your method was correct, but the unit assignment something uh, went wrong. You see. For instance, for distance, you assign the uh, unit as meters and for seconds, you just forgot to assign it as seconds. So that's where the discrepancy can happen, but it's very useful, it's very important for MathCAD, okay? So make sure you are defining all the units or don't define units at all, okay? For a, for a particular expression, okay? 
so x1 times y1 so that is going to be equal to 60 meters squared so it's not just 60 a 60 meters squared okay now let's try x1 divided by y1 so it's the ratio of x1 and y1 as you can see ratio of the same thing so it's Okay, so x1 over y1 is going to be equal to now 6 over 10 is 0 0.6, but meters over meters is 1, so meters over meters is well, just 1, so there's no unit. So 6 over 10 is just should, this should just be 6, 0 0.6. As you can see, it doesn't have any unit because meter meters are cancelled. Okay, so I guess well, let's just keep this video short. You know, this is just the basics of, uh, you know, MathCat, the, the lecture one. In the next lecture, we'll start using this stuff, you know, to to uh, to graph some uh, some plots and stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, take care. See you.